Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to the Mom Zoo. I'm so excited to be back with my ladies and my mamas. This episode is brought to you by Play School. And we are also excited to have our amazing guest, Ms. Paolo Solis. Hello. Please tell girls. us about I'm yourself. I'm super excited to be here. I've seen your videos, and now I'm here. I just can't believe it. Oh. <laughs> In Thank real you. time. I've heard you have not only one, but three YouTube channels. Yes, I do have three YouTube channels. I'm a family counselor and oh. psychotherapist. And when I became a mom, uh, I wanted to stay at home with my baby. Mm -hmm. So my sister, she has YouTube channels as well. And she encouraged me to open one and share what I know, my knowledge, but also share my stories as a mom. So I have a, a blogging channel. Mm -hmm. I have a Spanish channel and mm -hmm. also an English one. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's awesome. So, that's amazing. Yeah. All right, ladies. The topic of the day is childhood education. And since you're an expert, we kind of want to pick your brain on this <laughs> and get your guys' um, feedback. What is most important to you guys when it comes to educating your kids? For me, the great thing about educating kids is like they're persons. Even though mm -hmm. they're kids, they're persons. And they mm -hmm. have things to say to us. Right. So for me, it's really important to respect them and to get to know them because, you know, like, each kid is different and they right. need different things from mm -hmm. us, different personalities, different talents. So for me, it's just super exciting and fun to get to discover who my kids are. I was gonna say something similar. Um, is knowing how your kids do best learning. Mm -hmm. like Braylee has always motivated herself, my oldest mm -hmm. daughter. She has always pushed herself. She's enjoyed learning and, and you know, if I'm harder on her, she enjoys that. Mm -hmm. Like she feeds on that and she needs that. Or my little boy, if I am hard on him at all, like, or try to push him, he'll cry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want him to have a negative experience with learning. I want it to be positive. So we have to sit down, like, on the floor, and we have to make it fun, and I have to, you know, read the story problems in a happy voice, where with Braylee, you know, I would just read the story problem, and she would figure it out. And oftentimes, she was very independent, didn't even want me to help her. Mm -hmm. But with Gage, it has to be, like, this caring, yeah. and we're reading this mm -hmm. story problem together. And so yeah. it's just knowing your child and how they learn best. Well, I know, like, with my little ones, I'm excited because everything's in a, le a learning experience for right. them. They're, everything mm -hmm. is brand new. Mm -hmm. it, even if they've seen it before, half the time they've forgotten, so mm -hmm. they need to experience it again. Mm -hmm. So I love fostering that and allowing them to learn through play and things of... Uh, and not trying to make it too much of a, um, a strict session of now we're going to learn some letters or right. whatever, but allowing them to learn through play because I feel like that's how babies and toddlers learn. Mm -hmm. The baby learns what something is by putting it in their mouth. That's They're like, my tongue needs to feel it to know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> what it is. <laughs> doesn't matter what it is, but I, my tongue needs to, to feel it as well as my finger. So I'm excited to allow them to explore as many things in a safe way as yeah. possible mm -hmm. so that they, you know, have a better understanding. This is a hard question because I feel like education is so important, but yet I feel really inadequate as a mom sometimes with my own education. Mm -hmm. But I think just instilling in our kids the importance of it mm -hmm. and like, you know, it doesn't have to be specific types of education that you have to be good at or whatever, but like just knowing that it's important to learn, like be excited about learning, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. And sometimes as a mom, you also forget like what your kids don't know. Mm -hmm. So you forget to like sing certain songs or like, this will be fun for them because they haven't experienced this. And and so just exploring all parts of education, like yeah. going to a museum or reading a book you haven't read before, just making things exciting for mm -hmm. them. Have you guys done different things or made different rules and habits with your kids as you've had them because you've learned from the first kiddo? Or is there anything you would change as you've had your kids or you have changed? I, there's definitely... Definitely <laughs> stuff that I'm going to change. My poor first child was a guinea pig. I, I, I was like, I want to do this. I'm going to get these DVDs. You're going to watch these DVDs. You're going to learn how to read when you're one month old. All this craziness that in expectations, I don't know what I was trying to build with robot <laughs> that I was trying to build. So I am not putting that stress on me or the twins, and um, I feel like we'll all be saner people because of it. I feel like I'm the opposite with Braylee. She just did things just so easily, and I was just like, you do you, good job. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah, we're doing this, and I was like feeling pretty good. And then with Gage, he just has, he's smart, and he does well in school, but he just doesn't have that, you know, that 
go get push. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have it. and and it's been more challenging. So I've really had to push him. And so now with Winston, I'm like, okay, how are you gonna be? Yeah, yeah. I'm like so anxious to see if he's really gonna be driven or if he's gonna be more like Gage. But it's fun. And right now he's really loving books. So we're oh, reading a lot of books mm -hmm. and it's been fun. So I'm just trying my hardest. I feel like I forgot how to do everything. So I'm like, okay, what do I do now? But I think like you said, I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Yeah. 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 I think like the best thing to do is just to relax. With my first one, I was very apprehensive and I was like, okay, studies say this, they have to do this at this age. Mm -hmm. And with uh, sleeping hours, I was like this mm -hmm. clock to him. And as for Emilia, that he's she's my second one, it was like so natural, like, okay, I'm just gonna follow my instinct. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna give her love, nurture, as you said. And I enjoyed it so much, yeah. like being Born. this way. It yeah. should be an enjoyable yeah. experience. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Maybe it should. Ladies, when it comes to helping our kids develop and learn, have you guys used any toys or products that you notice have really helped your kids? Mm -hmm. I think always books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Books are huge. I think with, with all of my kids, they've all really enjoyed books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Puzzles, really right? Puzzles, yeah. yeah. Puzzles. Puzzles. Blocks. Yeah. Coloring. Coloring is great. Yeah. I use music. Music mm -hmm. is oh, was always really a really good tool. Like I, me and little Marcus would freestyle rap in the car I so that, that he could learn his birthday yeah. and learn like the letters because if it's something musical, it sticks in his head mm -hmm. very yeah. oh, quickly. Awesome. So right. that's typically. We would just, I'm literally, mama and son, rapping in the car. That's awesome. But he knows he oh learned his birthday that way. <laughs> right. So, thanks, that's what, uh, that, that was easy to do, and we could do it anywhere, so that's mm -hmm. right. what I tend to do. I love that you said music. I think that, I know personally Cooper does better when I make the experience fun, mm -hmm. and just creating an environment where education is fun, and making those positive habits. So, mm -hmm. speaking of fun, and education, and learning, we have some guests that we're bringing out today. Yay! Yay. So these are Play All Day Elmos. Thank you, Play School, for providing them for us. Yes, yes, I remember I asked Santa Claus for one when I was, I think, in fifth or sixth grade, and I was so happy when I came out Christmas morning and I had an Elmo, but they're a little different. They're bigger now, and their fur is a little softer. I think a little mm -hmm. more easier for us moms to clean, moms or dads to clean. Mm -hmm. But it's so, so cute. cute. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Always Super Elmo. soft. The great thing about this Play All Day Elmo is that he's interactive. Mm -hmm. So he invites and motivates kids to play, and he speaks. He sings. Mm -hmm. He has eight games and activities, oh, wow. and more than 150 responses. So let's see what he does. Oh, wow. Well, Elmo. well, he's yeah. red and fluffy, so he yeah. doesn't need to do anything. I know, he's <laughs> cute. The twins would be all over him. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> so we're gonna squeeze his nose. Ah, hi there. Oh, oh my God. Seven. Let's <laughs> play together. Oh, I love him. <laughs> so he laughs. He. Jumps. Jumps. And <laughs> has this cute sound. And then, if we tickle, he giggles. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, so I'm no. dying right now. Look, look, you see, I haven't passed it to yeah, you. I'm I know. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, so he has three modes a toddler mode, preschooler, and nap time mode. Right now, so cute. So let's squeeze. <laughs> I don't know the words, but it's catchy. <laughs> okay, so oh, this is for toddlers. I like mode. that he prompts them. Yeah. yeah. Squeeze my nose, he gives them the direction, and yes. then we'll sing together. Yeah. Oh, yes. like that. Emma oh. loves you so much. He also, he also um, shows how to have empathy and yeah. express your emotions. You know, and the little ones are very intrigued with cause and effect uh -huh. when they're yes. little ones. Absolutely. If I do this, then this will happen. So Play All Day Elmo has lots of games. One of my favorites are Pat a Cake. It helps with counting mm -hmm. and knowing their numbers. And there's also a red light, green light. It helps with listening and following instructions. Mm -hmm. And another favorite is Freeze dance. Mm -hmm. So oh, it yeah. keeps them active, moving, dancing, mm -hmm. and yeah. motivated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cute. So That's we're going to play some games here. Uh -huh. Okay. Break out the child in me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to see these girls. He wants to play a game with us. So instructions. Squeeze his nose. And the kid. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. So let's see. Let's play. Let's play. Says, 
He gives instructions. Stop. Right. So we're gonna pretend oh, we're running. Okay, so right. running. Green light. <laughs> Red light. <gasps> Woo! -hoo, we did it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I love about Play All Day Elmo is just that it's a great toy. It has a purpose. Mm -hmm. It's a toy, but they can have fun. Yeah. Right, but, right. But also keeping the fun and keep, the learning. Yeah, and yes. learn yeah. as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm so excited because Winston loves Elmo. He's already yeah. obsessed, and when he sees this little Elmo talking and playing with him, oh, I know. I want to like put all your babies next together. I know. And yeah. Play it together later. Oh, they're gonna go okay. crazy. And he's just visually. Come on now, you're just so adorable. Cute. This little red. I feel like your older kids are gonna take him. And I know. I know. It's gonna be a favorite. fight. I think one of my favorite things about him is because he's so lovely. And he's simple. Like, yeah. There's not like all these little gadgets and buttons on him. It's mm -hmm. just like he's a friend hanging out with you. Like, yeah. I, I really love him. He that just my nose. He <laughs> makes yeah. you smile when he shows up. You're just like, oh, there Elmo. he is. Oh. <laughs> we love you, Elmo. Oh, Holidays so are coming up, ladies. Yeah. You can get them for your kiddo. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here with us today. You were awesome. Mm -hmm. So Girl, full of knowledge. Good. Thanks yeah. for having me here. It was a pleasure. Girl, thank, thank you. No, we I had so much fun. Good. Good. <laughs> Mom's is always a good time. time. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today and a big thanks to Play School for providing us with these Play All Day Elmos. I don't know what it is about Elmo, but it makes me just feel that holiday like love. I don't know mm -hmm. if it's because I got him mm -hmm. for Christmas, but it makes you want to go out during the holidays and purchase me a Play All Day Elmo. We love mm -hmm. them. Um, make sure if you guys want to keep the conversation going, you guys can tweet us and use the hashtag TMV Talk. We'd love to hear from you. If you guys have any ideas um, below about anything that we touch on today, leave it down in the comments below. We're also going to be leaving her links because I know you guys want to hear more about her yes. of one of her many YouTube channels down in the description box below. We will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by the Mom's You. We love you. Over and out. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.